Morning folks, how are you all today? So I hope you enjoyed my double extra bonus video yesterday. Um, it was quite funny, I've got to admit, we were just having a laugh. But at least you got to see uh, a little bit about like how we kind of are uh, normally. Like banter is uh, always key, and especially in the UK, it's just all about the banter. You're always kind of taking the piss out of each other, having fun. Um, but it's all meant in jest, you know. It's all just fun and, and entertaining. It's not. Uh, there's never anything kind of uh, bad about it, but there is always a ridiculous amount of banter going on in my household, whether it's between me and Jade or whoever else is there, uh, it's always just a lot of fun. So I hope you guys got to kind of see that anyway. Um, I thought it was just something funny that I'd put up just to make you guys laugh. But it is early in the morning, Jade is just leaving to go to work in her car that she adores. In fact, I'm having the uh, spoiler fitted to that this week. The um, I'm not sure if you call it that in other countries. It's like the, the trim that goes on the boot. I'm not sure what you would call it in another country. Spoiler sounds something very English. But guess where I'm going? Back to the post office. I've no idea what it is, but if it's anything interesting, I will bring you one of my mini vlog unboxings very very shortly so here we go guys this is the package and i actually know what this one is because i saw the like note on the front of it and it said who it was from so this is going to be the most boring mini vlog unboxing of all time but i'll show you anyway and what a crappy way to pack something how messy is that but here we go this is what it is it is rainex weather beater glass cleaner and rain repellent and all it is is that the rain is kind of like sticking to the glass on my windows which is really annoying when it rains so this kind of um, just makes it better basically uh, when you're driving and when it's raining and whatnot you just put this on your windows you can get an idea of it kind of there it says sort of treated or untreated it just makes the uh, the water kind of bead a lot nicer and go away so there you go glass cleaner for the car the most ugh, the most interesting vlog unboxing of all time and here we go yet another little unboxing here on the vlog channel again I've no idea oh, in fact I can just tell what this is through the uh, sticky tape here on the side it kind of gives the game away but let's uh, take a closer look and just make sure that we've got the right thing so you guys probably have worked out what this is already plus we saw one of these the other day as well but this is another one of these um, Foscam webcams uh, they're not webcams they are uh, IP cameras sorry that I'm gonna put on my uh, home network and just have uh, some more of these so at the moment I've got several uh, IP cams around the house but what I'm gonna do is upgrade them all to these ones because these are just better quality and they work better uh, more functionality etc I don't want to get this polystyrene everywhere so yeah just another di addition really to the home security portfolio and the other one is working extremely well so if you want to get one I would definitely recommend this model so here's another one of my cameras set up and this one I've got in the front window just here and it's constantly uploading to my server in the cloud via images on FTP and it's also uploading to my Synology NAS device using H.264 video and then that synchronizes to one that is locked down and hidden so it's a pretty decent security system for what you actually pay for it if you're looking for something like this then I think that you'll be pretty happy with what it actually provides if you were to go out and buy a similar system from a company then you'd be spending a ridiculous amount of money. So this is a pretty decent solution. You can get an idea of how good the video quality is as well from this. I think it's pretty decent. So just been out to get my lunch, as you guys can see, hopefully, there, sitting on the passenger seat. Just a nice little baguette and uh, a drink. That is it for me today. <laughs> I've got to get back on the diet. I lost some weight, then kind of stopped the diet. I haven't put the weight back on, but I need to continue to lose weight. So got to start here in the diet again and I just thought I'd let you guys know as well I'm heading off to um, where is it I'm going to the Isle of, no yeah Isle of Man uh, on Thursday only for a day and a night I've got to go and do a presentation at a seminar over there for a client but yes I will be on the Isle of Man for a single night and last time I went there I actually won a load of money on uh, blackjack at the casino where we stay in the hotel so hopefully this time 
that will be repeated and I won't uh, lose because I know what I'm like as soon as I get into the casino that will be it I will be hitting the uh, roulette and the blackjack extremely hard so I forgot to tell you guys another thing as well um, at the weekend I tried recording my car review because so many of you have been saying please can you do the car review so at the weekend I tried to do it but I really need someone else to help it's too difficult to do it with just one person so I spoke to someone uh, who is a uh, professional videographer and luckily uh, they've agreed to come and help me at some stage in the not too distant future so hopefully over the next few weeks providing we have the weather to do it we should be able to get the full review done and even have the assistance uh, of a professional video man which should be great because it's just too much of a big thing too much of a difficult thing to do on your own I, I really tried quite hard but setting the camera up driving past it worrying about someone taking it all that kind of stuff it's just too much grief so hopefully that's going to come out really well i've seen a few that i really like and there's a company called um oh, i've forgotten the name now something auto it's like an american uh, youtube channel that i think is also a car shop at rosenthal auto i think it's called and they claim that their videos are in 4k but when you put it up to 4k uh, I, I don't know what kind of camera they're using but it looks pretty horrendous so although the reviews are absolutely fantastic love the way the guy presents the reviews so hopefully mine being in actual real true 4k should come across like out of this world in terms of video quality and just hopefully I can do a reasonable enough job presenting it to add up to that quality and hopefully end up with a really good review which I can continue to pimp around the car companies and then hopefully do more car reviews in the future. The only thing obviously I've learned through this is that doing car reviews is definitely not a one person job. So arranging for someone else to come along and uh, help is always going to be a bit of a difficult problem. But maybe there's more people around this sort of local area that are interested in videography. Uh, maybe I can apply for like an intern or something like that, I don't know. Maybe you guys have got some ideas uh, about that because I'm really not quite sure. Home now and got loads and loads to do this evening. Uh, really looking forward to Jade coming home from work. You know you get those days where you just kind of uh, miss your other half. I felt like one of them days that I could have uh, done with her being around. In fact it would be nice if she was around all the time but she likes going to work so uh, and that's always a good thing as well so good for her. But can't wait for her to come home this evening and cook me dinner. Because <laughs> I'm starving because I only had a small lunch because of this crappy diet. I've also had to wire a, an electric cable all the way around the room. Um, in fact, I just noticed that hanging down there. That's not to do with it, but I need to sort that out because that bugs me. Um, but no, I've had to run a wire from over here all the way around to over there because my camera is screwed into this window here. And there was no power, so I've neatly... Uh, put a cable. In fact, if I show you down here, uh, you might you can't even see. It. You can kind of see it just there where I haven't stuck that bit down yet, and you can see the super glue on my finger because uh, I've been gluing stuff as well. So yeah, I've run that all the way around the room. Now I've got power over there, and everything's working absolutely perfectly. And in fact, as you can see here, I've got my screens uh, set up. My first two cameras set up. So now I just need to add in like the other four, uh, which are coming later on in the week around the house. So I'm really, really impressed with the whole kind of security system, really. The only thing is that the Synology surveillance system only comes with a one camera license, which is a bit of a bitch. So I need to um, speak to my contact at Synology and see if I can get a couple more licenses uh, for this particular system. My other one didn't use the Synology one, so a um, bit of a pain, really. But I will sort that out. I'm sure you can either buy them or they'll maybe uh, give me a couple if I make a video on it or something like that. So that is pretty much it for me today. I am gonna, oh, a lot of people have been asking me for the model number for this. And in fact, let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's a Optiple Optiplex 9020. And I get it with 32 gig of RAM. Uh, then I put a 512 gigabyte SSD in it. Leave the one or two terabyte drive or whatever that's in it. And it makes a very cool little ESXi testing box. Uh, for VMware. The only thing is the network cards in it aren't supported by ESXi so you need to go out and buy like an Intel Pro 1000 or something like that just your more kind of typical network card because ESX doesn't pick up that one. 
So anyway, a little bit of info for you there, but it does make a great little home testing kit uh, for anything kind of virtualization based. And I'm going to be putting uh, Zen Desktop 7.1 on there and having a little play around with it. So that is me anyway, guys, over and out. Um, please do hit that like button. I know I never say that to you guys on this channel. In fact, let's do a little challenge. Normally we get about 300, 350 likes. Let's see if we can get it up to 500 uh, likes. I'd really appreciate it if you could just whack that uh, like button. Anyway, guys, have yourselves a fantastic evening, and I'll see you tomorrow.